is so high that rare in this world are to realize all these things. But even the last fraction of bhakti, that is sattva, we should begin from sattva. So what is sattva and how it comes and what is the effect of sattva, we should know. And try to keep it in our heart and to follow. So first, Sriman, Bhakti Vedanta, Arant Maharaj will speak on this subject and we will begin. which is the tiniest, most minute, indivisible unit of that highest praying. What is sadha? What are the symptoms of sadha? All of, how it comes, all of these things have been described very, very specifically in the Shastras. First of all, Srila Krishnadas Karaj Goswami Pad, he explained, Shraddha Shakti Vishwas Kohe Sudhidanishthai Krishna Bhakti Kaila Sarva Karma Kitahai Shraddha has been called the unwavering hmm, conviction that simply by engaging in the angers of bhakti Shavanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, Pada, Sedam, Atravanam, Dasam, Sacham, Atmani, Ledanam. Simply by performing these things, every other type of obligation, every other type of responsibility has been completely performed. There's nothing else to do. When a person is convinced that his only obligation, his only duty in life is the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Parabrahma, Paratattva, the Supreme Absolute Truth. And that the service of all those things which are not the Absolute Truth should be given up. Or then this is called Sadha, faith. In Amnai Sutra, there Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur also defined faith. He said, Sraddha Tananyo Varjam Bhakti Unmukhi Chitta Vritti Vishesh. Chitta Vritti Vishesh. Sraddha or faith means that very special disposition of the heart which remains forever inclined towards acts of loving service. Mm -hmm. The heart is always inclined, has that disposition to serve Krishna at every moment. And Anya Varjang, to leave behind all types of karma, activities which are performed for the sake of getting some remuneration, motivating activities, and gyan, the performance of activities or the cultivation of knowledge and philosophy with the aim and object of becoming freed from the miseries of this world and freed from the cycle of birth and death, mukti. And activities such as the performance of yoga for the accumulation of siddhi, mystic powers, the performance of activities for heaven, elevation to heavenly planets, all these types of uh, activities, karma, gyan, yoga, all are completely discarded because the heart is specifically inclined only towards acts of loving service. It's called shraddha. When this shraddha is present in the heart, 
In the next sutra, Srila Bhakti Nautako explains, Sacha Sharnapati Lakshanam, the symptom of a person in whose heart this sada has appeared. They have a, an outer symptom that is called Sharnapati or Sharnagati. They have unconditional surrender. If this faith has come, then they are very careful to protect it. Because it's such a valuable thing. Just as we see when the devotees come to India, they're always worried. Where's my passport? Is it still there? My travel checks. That's okay. They want to look after these things very carefully. So if someone has sadha, really, then they take care of it. How? Anukul yasha sankalpa. They have a very firm vow to accept everything in their life which is favorable for progress in devotional service. Pratikul yasha viparjanam. And unequivocally, without looking back, they walk away from everything which may be detrimental to the development of pure devotional service. And Rakshishatiti Vishvaso Goptitre Baranam Tata. They're not afraid of what will happen to them in the future. Who will maintain me when I grow old? Hmm? These kinds of thoughts and feelings, they don't come. Why? Krishna is my maintainer. Goptitre Baranam Tata. He will maintain me. Rakshishatiti Vishvaso. And if there's any danger, if any very mm, life threatening calamity will approach them, then what will they do? take out their gun. No. Hmm? Only one thing. They pray to Krishna. Why? Because Krishna will always protect me. Hmm? If Krishna wants to protect me, no one can harm me. If someone wants to harm me, Krishna wants to harm me. And no one can protect me. So no fear at all. And Atmanik Shepana Karpanye. They have no independence, self-interest. Their life of 24 hours a day is only meant for the service of Krishna. They have no uh, other agenda. They have no other mm, activities, no other schedule or ambitions outside of the ambition to serve Guru, Hari Guru, and Vaishnavas. They are called Atmanik Shepana. To give up the mood of independence. And Karpanye means humility. They are very humble. They give respect to others. And this humility is also characterized by the feeling, I have not understood Siddhanta. I don't know the Shastra. I am bereft of a clear knowledge. And another aspect of humility, oh, because of my uh, wicked, wicked activities of the past, I am bereft of the association of sadhus. Aheno Durjana Sadjana Varjita. I am bereft of the association of qualified devotees, the near and dear family members of Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, when a person has this shraddha in his heart, then it will be characterized outwardly by their surrender. And the internal characteristic of that shraddha, the internal aspect, that is called bhakti lata beach, the seed of devotion. Its internal characteristic is Krishna seva basana, the desire to serve Krishna. How does it come? Brahmanda Brahmite Kon Bhagavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Beach The seed of the creeper of the devotion comes when a living entity has been wandering throughout the universe in many many lifetimes. Sometimes by accident he may honor some Mahaprasadam. By accident he may uh, do parakrama in a holy place, or fast on a kadasi. There are many examples given in Shastra. And knowingly or unknowingly, he accumulates Sukriti, some pious credits. And when this Sukriti reaches a critical mass, the result of this Sukriti is that he comes face to face with the Sakshat Harit Tvena Somasta Shastre Uktastata Bhavyata Evasadvi Kintu Prabhoya Priya Evatasya Bande Guru Sri Charanaravindam. He comes face to face with such a Hari, that personality who is 100% engaged in the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, 
Who is a complete and perfect instrument in the hands of the Lord? Who is a transparent via medium who can completely and perfectly represent the uh, conception of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the Acharyas? He needs that person. And by the influence of that person, Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. By associating with him, Bhaktis tu Bhagavat Sangha, Bhaktis tu Bhagavat Bhakta Sangena Parijayate. The only cause of the awakening of bhakti in its most rudimentary form, in the form of Shraddha, is the association of the devotee. The Dati Prati Brinati Gui Makati Prithiti Bhumte Bhojayate Chaiva Sadhida Priti Lakshanam. He has Sadhu Sangha. What is his Sadhu Sangha? Not an ordinary thing. First of all, sadhu. Sadnoti, sadhayati cha, Krishna Prem iti, sadhu. Sadhu is that person. He is related to sadvastu, the eternal supreme reality, see Krishna. Kintu prabhoya priya evatasya, very near and intimate associate of Krishna. And sadhu is that person who themselves, they are deeply absorbed in their sadhana bhajan. And by their instructions, they adjust our life so that we can also understand what is the actual line of pure sadhana, so that we can come in contact with the very live and invigorating current of Braja Frame. That person is called sadhu. And what is sangha? Samyak rupain anugaman. Samyak rupain, to completely follow. When we have the chance to come in contact with such a high class of pure devotee, then that person, he tries to surrender himself there unconditionally and follow externally and externally by his activities and internally by uh, having rendered service and praying to Guru that the internal moods of Guru will gradually begin to manifest within his heart. So by this Sadhu Sangha, faith is acquired and this faith gradually, gradually begins to grow. Actually, Adho Shraddha Tata Sadhu Sangata Bhajana Kriya Tato Nata Nivrishti Shat Tata Nishta Ruchis Tata Tata Asat Akta Saktis Tata Bhava Prema Vyudantite Sadakaramayam Prema Padubhave Bhavet Kramaha From the stage of Shraddha up to Prem and up to Snaya Man Pranaya up to Mahabhav all of this is one substance only. It's only one substance. Hmm? What is this? This is the vritti or the function, the activity of Krishna's internal potency, Samvit Shakti and Hadini Shakti. It is one substance. So the living entity who receives this shraddha, this faith, he is very fortunate because if he will take care of it very carefully, hmm? how? By following the orders of Guru and Vaishnava and also by keeping a fence around his newly sprouting creeper in the form of good association. If he'll not make a fence around this sprouting creeper, then he'll get bad association. And in the association of those who have no inclination towards shuddha bhakti, completely pure and unmixed bhakti, there will be a barrage of aparaj, so many offenses. And it will come like the Hakimata, a mad elephant, and completely smash, destroy, uproot everything before it even began. Therefore, the, those who have Shraddha, they try to protect it. This Shraddha is of two types. If a person has some faith, they have some faith in God, and think, I want to serve him, this is not the sign that this Shraddha is transcendental. It may be Lokik Shraddha, Lokik Shraddha. That means worldly conviction. It's the coming from their mind. There are so many people in this world who have faith in something. Hmm? Some people have faith in money, but this is not Shraddha. Hmm? So some people also have faith in Bhagavan, but this faith in God is not transcendental. It may be a material kind of conviction coming from the mind and intelligence. What is the sign that it is transcendental? They have respect for Guru, but they also respect Vaishnava. In fact, when a living entity develops honor for all the paraphernalia of the Chinmoy Tattva, of the transcendental reality, at that time, his faith is considered to be genuine. 
That is called Paramatik Shraddha. Paramatik Shraddha causes such a strong conviction that that person will become so <coughs> determined. And they cannot be deviated from the path of progress. Like Palak Maharaj, his father tried to throw him from the top of mountains, throw him under the feet of stampeding elephants, and give him poison, put him in fire. But he could not give up his hearing, chanting, and remembering. Srila Haridas Thakur was brought be before the Muslim king. He said, stop chanting this name of the Hindu god, otherwise there will be very severe repercussions for you. Srila Haridas Thakur replied, Kanda kanda hoi daya jai jari pran, tabu ami badani na chari hari nam. Oh my, your majesty, you may cut my body into thousands of pieces and I may give up my pran, my life air. But one thing is for certain, that my tongue cannot give up the chanting of this name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Paramatik Shraddha is like this. It has no uh, fear or uh, mm, rivals in this material world. It causes the heart to be disposed very clearly towards the service of Krishna. But this Paramatik Shraddha is also of two types. One type is Shastra Artha Avadharni Mai Shraddha. And the other type is called Bhagavat Lila Madhurya Loba Mai Shraddha. The first type, Shastra Artha Avadharni Mai Shraddha, means that if a living entity coming into the association of devotees hears that, oh my dear brother, you are not this physical body, you are transcendental, you are Atma, the soul, you are eternal, and you are part and parcel of God. Because you have forgotten the Supreme Lord, therefore you are suffering in the endless chain of birth and death, sufferings and sorrows. Hmm? Therefore, oh, give up your sleepiness and engage yourself in the service of God, because this is your duty. You are part of God, and just as the hand being part of the body should serve the body, so the soul being part of God should serve the Lord. That person hears this katar, and he thinks, Yes, this is my real duty in life. I should serve the Supreme Person of God because I'm his part. And if I don't, uh-oh, I have to take birth again, I have to go to school again, I have to fall in love again, oh no. Hmm? And he's afraid. Hmm? He's afraid of this material existence. So on the one hand, it's his duty that he should serve God. So he does his duty. And on the other hand, he has some fear of the sufferings of this world. So he engages in bhakti. This type of faith, Shastra Arta Avadharna Mahi Shastra, the faith which is based on uh, some fear of the discipline, which is explained in the scriptures, this is the eligibility to begin the path of Vaidhi Bhakti, a regulative devotional service which gradually grows and develops Nishta Ruchi Asakti Vaikuntha Bhav. Mm -hmm. It comes to the level of uh, emotional uh, attachment and loving sentiments for the Supreme Lord of Vaikuntha, the realm of opulence. On the other hand, if a living entity, mm -hmm. by good fortune, somehow or other, wanders into the assembly, wherein there is a very uh, Siddhanta Vit, Rasik, Braja Rasik, Rupanuga Vaishnav, who is, oh, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati, saturated from head to toe in only Ras, Ras and Ras. Hmm? The sweet, transcendental loving affection between Radha and Krishna, that person, his heart is absorbed. If he speaks, only very sweet nectar is coming. Mm -hmm. Even if he does not speak, that mood is emanating from the atoms of his body even. So if the living entity will have the chance to associate with such a person, mm -hmm. and hearing the pastimes of Krishna, then one mm, obsession comes and begins to uh, pervade their mind. They become obsessed. Ragatmi kaika nishta ye, brajabasi janadishu, teisam bhava pute lobda. Tatradik Bhavet Tatradi Karavan Sri Rupa Goswami Pad said, hearing about the Bridge Vasis, how the friends of Krishna they can wrestle with him, how they can give him their own remnants, hmm? or hearing how Madhya Shoda feeds Krishna her breast milk, how she can chastise him and twist his ear, hmm? or hearing how the gopis of Vrindavan 
Hmm? How do they please Krishna? By all of their loving services, by singing and dancing in so many ways. Then that person, a feeling comes in his heart, an obsession. I want to love Krishna like the bridge bases, particularly one or another. They may be attracted to serve Krishna like his friends or like his parents or especially like the gopis of Vrindavan. When this obsession enters his heart, when this greed uh, to become like them comes into his heart, this is called Bhagavad Lila Madhurya Loba Mahishraddha, the faith which is based exclusively on greed. Hmm? Now this person, he's hearing, chanting and remembering not out of fear and not because he thinks you have to take birth repeatedly in this world, but the impetus which initiates all of his devotional activities is simply agreed to love Krishna in the way that the residents of Vrindavan love him. So this type of shraddha, this faith, is the eligibility to begin the path of Raganuga Bhakti, for which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world. Hmm. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came here to taste the frame, the loving sentiments of Srimati Radhika from her point of view, how she loves him. Hmm. And for the sake of the world, he wanted to distribute Raga Marga Bhakti, the path of Raga Nuga Bhakti. So that path, it begins with the initial appearance of Loba Mahishraddha, faith based on greed within the heart of a living entity. And it may come in the heart of anyone. Be careful. It may come in the heart of anyone at any moment. It, you cannot control it. It is quite independent. So I think that those who have come assembled here in the Furama Hotel, they have some Sukriti. They must have so much Sukriti because on the way they're asking Furama, Furama, Rama, Rama, Rama. <laughs> so they chanted so much Nama Bas. And eventually they came to this place and sitting at the lotus feet of our Paramaraja Tum Guru Pada Padma Om Vishnu Pada Stoda Satsa Shimad Bhakti Data Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Yeah. Who really is such a Vaishnava. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati. Kriyatan Yati Kutopi Labyate. Rupa Goswami Padi Tadyavali. And Srila Prabhupada actually. Srila Esi Bhakti Data Swami Prabhupada. He said, I have called my society ISKCON, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And this phrase, Krishna Consciousness, I took from this particular verse of Tadyavali. The International Society for Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati. It is a society for that. So then the verse goes on to explain that Kritam Yadi Kutopi Labyate. If such a faith, if such a grief is available in any place, then what should you do? Go there without delay. Kutopi, that means anywhere. If such a grief to serve the Lotus Feet of Radha and Krishna is available anywhere, then without any caste or creed, without any denomination, without any institutional or constitutional considerations, at once go to that place, sit there and hear that Hari Kutar. And then there's a very good chance that if one will hear with honor that such a greed, which is so rare and so valuable, will enter into the core of one's heart. Oh, yeah. 
try to do it. If not too big, but so like should be some part. But very easily all can. Yeah. 